Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Beaumont. I'm the president of Google in Asia Pacific. Uh, thank you to Gang Lu and the team for the invitation to speak today and congratulations on this Beyond event. I'm actually really happy and thrilled to see Asia host such an event at such an important time for technology. The impact of COVID has really been quite remarkable and from people needing to get the information that they need as quickly and as reliably as possible to being able to use new services they've not used before uh, to help uh, deliver groceries or keep themselves entertained um, during COVID or to small businesses looking for a way to engage with digital skills and find a way to survive. It's clear that technology has been incredibly important to many. And particularly when we look at Asia Pacific, 270 million new people have come online for the first time since COVID began, which is really uh, quite remarkable. And so the key things are to make sure that this technology is accessible, that people have the skills that they need to be able to use these new services. And in fact, that we put the partnerships in place behind the scenes, both public and private, to make sure that people know how to use the, the internet, know how to use these, these services in a way which suits and serves them. Now, Google's actually been in Asia now for just over 20 years. In fact, we celebrated our 20th anniversary just a few weeks ago. Our first international office uh, was in Tokyo, in Japan. And since that time, clearly we've seen Asia take the lead in a number of really interesting areas, uh, whether that's uh, payments or video or commerce, uh, the influence of Asia can be deeply felt in the uh, technology space. And I think that's just going to increase. I think the new generation coming through is going to create a groundswell in innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, the computer science is here. The market opportunities here. The finances is, uh, are here. And so for entrepreneurs in the region, there really hasn't been a better time uh, to come to market. And there is significant opportunity, not just through these incredible demographics, um, but by the fact that uh, you, the, the technology itself uh, provides an opportunity uh, for us to be able to create new services uh, for end users, uh, corporate and individuals throughout the region. Now, one of the areas where I'm hoping to see technology take the lead is in climate change. Um, and Google's made a statement that we want to be carbon free by the end of the decade. And we've done that with some nervousness, but some excitement. We're not quite sure everything that needs to happen to get us there. We, we see some of the steps, but some of the steps will be revealed to us as we, as we continue to progress. But I think it's important that we try. And I think it's important that perhaps we set a standard that others might have the confidence also to follow. And we're going to try and do our part too. Uh, we're going to be providing enterprises with the benefit of our cloud technology and our uh, AI uh, and applied AI services behind that to help them get there. Uh, we're going to be looking with governments at uh, some of our flood prediction tools, our forest fire prediction tools, as a way of helping governments respond better to crisis. We're going to look, be looking at within search and maps, for example, helping to provide consumers with better information to make better choices to enable them to be more climate aware uh, as they think about their day to day. And this is an area where I think uh, APAC can lead um, and whether it's climate change or whether it's um, accessibility or whether it's how we deal with language or whether it's any number of the other uh, potential opportunities that exist within the region. I think the future for uh, the Asia region with technology is incredibly bright. Part of that is demographics. Part of that is the computer science capability. Part of that is the natural positivity and entrepreneurship that I see around the region. But this is a great time to be embarking on the conversation that you're having today at Beyond. I congratulate you on putting the event together and look, look, look forward to hearing some of the results of what comes out of the conversation.